Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Maven tutorial series. Uh, so in the previous video, we have, we have talked about the course introduction. I have given you some theoretical overview of the Maven. What is Maven? What are the features of the Maven? And uh, as I said you uh, in this video, we will be talking about the tools that you have to install in your PC to get started uh, working with the Maven. Okay. So first thing first, you need Java uh, because it's a Java based uh, tool maven is uh, so you require java in your pc so to install java uh, you can just go here and in your browser and just write down wait download java jdk okay so first thing uh, first link will come from oracle itself uh, okay just open it and here you can see uh, whichever uh, operating system that you are using select according to according to that uh, if you are using windows select windows or linux or mac os uh, right now i am using windows 11 so i will select windows uh, and i will uh, again in any of these three options are available you can download anyone uh, so i like to install the inst direct installer for that java and i will just click, click here and it will start downloading the jdk file for my pc okay so i will not download it again as i have downloaded okay so wait a minute let me cancel it after uh, downloading this uh, wait a minute i will show you wait. Uh, just in case uh, it is downloading uh, now okay so if you have, if you guys are uh, liking this series so do hit that like button and share with you, share it with your friends who wants to learn Maven. Okay, uh, okay. Wait. Uh, as I, as I told you, I have ins already installed JDK in my PC. So you don't uh, need to do anything. Uh, you just come here, come at this site, and uh, click on the X twenty four X sixty four installer and click on this link. It will start download the JDK file for for the latest version, which is nineteen for now. At the time of recording of this lecture uh, and that is the exe file that is executable file okay just go inside your uh, file explorer and go inside uh, your uh, c drive and after c drive you have, you can go inside your program files and inside program files you can find java java folder is being created okay after the installation just open that java file you can see jdk19 is uh, here installed in my pc and i will just uh, double click on that folder and after in this folder uh, you, as you can see bin folder is there okay so you, you just double click on it and inside these all these uh, java files are jdk files are there so you just need to click on this address bar and click uh, ctrl c so to copy this path and after copying this path just go come here come in here and start and write edit edit okay so after writing edit you can see edit the system environment variables is uh, best match comes over here you just click on it and this window will pop up and after here you, you can click on this edit environment variables and uh, so now we have two options you can uh, set this environment variable path for the user variables like this is my user if you have if you are using multiple users in your in, inside your windows you uh, then you can choose this path uh, so and if you are using only single user in your windows you can choose the system variables as well. i prefer system variables uh, because in in some cases there are multiple uh, users inside your pc uh, then you have to create a uh, that separate separate path for the each user so instead of creating that you just come over uh, system variables and click on the path click on edit click on new and just paste paste this okay so this path you have to paste it over here oh i will not pasting pasting as i have already done that part you just paste it over here click on ok and just to ensure come here here path as well click on edit click on new click cash control v to paste it and just say ok ok and ok so you have to say ok 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 and you will get out of this window and after doing all these things uh, you can see exe file is also down downloaded just open i will show you i will not, I will not install as i as it installed in my pc already uh, i'll just show you okay so here you can see it it's giving me a message that it is 
already installed on the PC. Do you want to reinstall it? I'll say no. You just go ahead and say yes, 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 or next, next, next. The Java will be installed on your PC. That's it. Okay, so this is uh, about Java. Okay, so after installing Java, uh, you have to check whether all everything is good. You have your path is set up and you are good to go for the first checklist of our tools. So for that uh, verification, you just come on, come on start, click, right click. And as you can see, terminal is here. You can click on that and the terminal will get open and you just write one command Java minus minus version. And hit enter and it should show the Java version that you have installed uh, right now in your PC. Okay, so if everything goes fine, you should see this message or else if there are again some messages where uh, Java is not recognized as a command in that case you are you should uh, you have you should miss some steps you go back and check this video again and try to install again okay so this is for our first tool uh, the second tool is of course maven you are learning maven you have to install maven in your pc right so click on the new tab and just type download maven sorry my typo just ignore it maven okay so first link come which is official link from apache you will just open this and after opening this these are the six system requirements uh, just pause the video and see what are the system requirements that you, you require as you say first request system requirement is jdk itself that we have downloaded in our first step so our, we are good to go for the jdk uh, so there is no memory requirement uh, so as many memory you have it's fine uh, disk requirements is there so you approximately 10 mb is required uh, to maven installation itself so i guess no one is is there who uh, doesn't have 10 mb of space in that disk disk okay an operating system no minimum requirement uh, startup scripts are included such as shell scripts and windows batch file so operating system you can use anyone okay so here you can see they have given four options you can uh, download any one uh, i personally like binary zip archive file so i will just come here and click on this link the this will download the apache maven zip file uh, once installed i will go and click open when done or instead i will go inside my downloads folder i will click here okay so this you can see so first of all i need to extract this extract all uh, i will browse just extract all my bits and click on ok so it will extract uh, everything what is inside that zip file so here you can see uh, this file is being extracted uh, i will just do one thing uh, i will just cut this out and after cutting this i will come inside my c drive come inside my uh, program files and inside my java folder itself that we have seen all right program files inside java i will paste that here itself okay i will paste it paste that extracted folder over here and now you have to do oh, one thing you have to do is cl click on it click on bin and whatever inside is click on this path Control c uh, okay wait Control c you have to copy that path and again come into the start and write edit 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 the system environment variables environment variables and just go inside path click on edit click on new and paste that path and just place ok and come down here and come here click on new click on control v and click ok ok and again ok so this part is done we have set the environment variables now after doing this we have to check whether everything is okay uh, so for that again we have one command uh, so let me just uh, restart my terminal so that it knows the uh, maven is installed in your pc okay and so the command is mvn minus minus version okay uh, there is no and you need to run this program this okay so java home is uh, environment variable is not defined correctly 
so first let me go and rectify this error and i will come back to it okay so the problem that causes that maven dot uh, is is the internal command error so uh, we have done all this right so we come into the edit we go into the environment variables and we are going inside our path we are clicking on edit and we are uh, adding that path over here okay so uh, this uh, this thing we have done correctly okay up to that i i hope you got this so one thing uh, if you come over inside your terminal and just write mvn minus minus version and wait for a second okay now inside of a, a what maven does is maven come here inside our environment variables and check for the one variable name as java home so we have to create that java home variable so how to create it again come inside your edit and click uh, come here and just uh, click on new and set the Nova variable name as java underscore home all caps and the value should be the uh, folder all right so the folder is as i showed you jdk19 so don't go inside the bin just get this much path control c and get inside your variables and control v and just click ok uh, after clicking ok so you can see uh, one variable will got uh, created over here and as that same variable we have to create over here as well uh, java home and this is the variable and once you create click on ok click on ok just come clear this out come inside your terminal and just write mvn minus minus version and hit enter so now uh, i hope you see apache maven 3.9.0 uh, and this is the binary code and the maven home this is and the java version is also telling us and it is also telling us where java is installed in this pc and some default local and platform encoding utf8 okay and the os number os name is also telling us okay so this many information it gives you uh, i hope uh, you also get this information uh, when when you try to run this command okay so we have done installing maven uh, done installing java and we now again we require git okay so why to why to use git git is a very powerful word version controls uh, management tool okay so you just come in here itself and now write download git and hit enter uh, so first thing uh, first link you see is the official uh, from git distributed uh, it is the new distributed is the new centralized okay so you can see it automatically detects your os and gives you the link for your os so once you click on the download for windows uh, click here to download the latest this click here to download and it will download the 50 mb uh, file which is the executable file once it it got downloaded you just uh, click on it uh, let let the default installation be there click on ok 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 next 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 this will install git in your pc successfully and once it install uh, it is very uh, powerful uh, tool we will see when we are started uh, using maven and built started building some projects using maven and java you can see uh, it is downloaded you just click on it and go next 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 and install this tool as well uh, okay uh, and last last checklist is any ide your preference uh, you if you want vs code you can use vs code if you want eclipse you can use eclipse you can uh, you can also use intellij idea which is uh, uh, i guess very much powerful and very good looking id just my personal opinion not nothing else uh, you can use your your own ide uh, all these ide comes with uh, build in maven uh, implementation or the support you can see uh, so if you have followed this all these tools you have installed then you are pretty much good to go for the next video and i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching this video